constables seem to be a very thing, and traveling, and so, oh, about uh, 15, uh, my son, when my son was 15, which was approximately seven years ago, uh, me and another Norse lady was traveling to the far edges of this world to the peninsula that has poor roads, no signage, and no restrooms. <gasps> Making my, the, the younger boys, 11. So we had our 11 year olds, my 15 year old, her 16 year old, and we were heading to Lake Linden, Michigan, to be able to set up so that we could have uh, displays of archery and um, all kinds of throwing devices and things like that. So naturally, I had my big van. From the back windows, you could see that there were swords, there were javelins, there were many, many throwing instruments, and there was a number of swords. We are going, on, we, we left after work, so it was already getting late. Well, when we got to the, the Kelana, the fog was so thick that you could only see about 10 feet in front of the vehicle. And I had a long line of other vehicles coming behind me, and we were going very slowly, 20, 25 miles an hour. So if there was a sign saying there was a privy, the boys needed it. So we get to where there's all of these lights, but nothing's open. And all of a sudden, we have six vehicles pull in front of us and stop us. Because all of the vehicles behind us had used an instrument to call the police and say that there was somebody drunk on the road. As I'm sitting there politely waiting, I have numerous officers surrounding my vehicle. And they look at us and they go, do you have any concealed weapons? I says, no, they're all in the open. <laughs> and knives and, and swords and blades and I have <laughs> set up for four different units of throwing instruments and where are you going? I'm going to the park at Lake London. What are you going to be doing there? I said setting up the danger zone. <laughs> shaking on the other side of the vehicle. And she goes, what do they want? And I says, I don't know, but we really need to find a bathroom for the 11 year olds, please. And the kids are peeking out the windows, you know. And uh, my girlfriend, because of being Norse people, her 16 year old is about six foot two and weighs a good 300 pounds and is in black leather. <laughs> okay, so, and uh, they came and they opened up the side doors, which is where Lawrence is sitting, and they look at him and then they look at my son, and my son is sitting there with a big plumed hat on. <laughs> Um, what are you doing? I said, there is going to be a demo up in Lake Linden this weekend, and we would like to invite you and all of your families to come up. It would be very pleasant. I would like to know why you stopped us. And the gentleman said, apparently he must have had a mic on because um, everything that I was saying was being broadcast to the jail. <laughs> and I said, 
well, we're coming, and he says, do you know that we do not have camping at Lake Linden? And I said, oh, I was told that we were going to be able to stay there. Um, do you have any idea of where we could go, possibly park in a church parking lot? They looked at me and went, you are very odd. <laughs> I'm thinking, all I'm doing is answering your questions. <laughs> uh, and uh, all of a sudden, a big red truck comes speeding up. This bald man jumps out all in black, and he goes, leave these ladies, take their kids to the bathroom, and you can stay at Lake Linden for the weekend if you would like. And so that was the end of that. We got no warnings, no tickets, just the chief of police on a hot dash in to save the day. <laughs>